original vocals and opens with Nicki Minaj, followed by Spice Pompite, Lisa Mercedes, Dovi Magnum, London Hill, Lady Lecture, Destra Garcia, and Patrice Roberts. Well, have you heard Nikki the track, Nora? Has done a great job for dance hall. This is something I always think about and dream about when it comes to female woman empowerment. Nikki, Manala, I'm a bigger up. I'm a big up skeng too. Skeng, you king amongst a lot of queen. Yeah, you are king youth. So this project is a blessed project because it, it do a lot for me. I really appreciate it. I really love it. And every female go hard on it. It's a good look. I mean, I big up Nicki Minaj again and big up the female them and the rhythm. Holy for blessings. That was Pompey Tay. Wow. Yes, Dora. I know, wow. right? <laughs> eh? I haven't heard it yet. Who killed it? Look, the theme, let's just say that the women are going hard and, you know, everybody's representing themselves. Um, it is raunchy, but, you know, they're, they're doing their thing. <laughs> well raunchy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we'll just leave it at that then. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. I'm sure if you bleep out a few things, you probably, you know, have a few blank spaces. Right. But, you know, the female, the females, they, they did their thing, in my opinion. But listen to it. But nobody stood out for you? Um. <sighs> we never hear it now, because we can't tell you. Yeah, yeah obviously not. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. So you, we, you were actually expecting more then? Uh, honestly, I didn't have any expectations. I just saw the whole thing as, you know, Nicki Minaj providing a huge platform for the ladies. And in addition to just doing the collaboration, she went on Instagram and she went live with Pompite. She also went live with others and she basically... You know, like sharing her platform, sharing her audience. And that, in my opinion, is just queen things. You understand? Like you're not yeah. really taking the spotlight for yourself, but you're sharing your platform. And like Pompite expressed, you know, like she's really grateful for the opportunity. And instead of doing a collab with just one female, the fact that, you know, eight females get got this opportunity and Skeng just pretty much cool about it, you know, because it's his song. All in all, it's a win for me. It's not, you know, no mm -hmm. one person stood out, but collectively, a song of a buzz. But, that, but that's great, though, that, like you said, you know, Nikki calling on the women of the Caribbean mm -hmm. and really highlighting our music, you know, mm -hmm. and, and she have a gazillion follow, followers, you know, so that can only mean probably new audiences for our music and, no, and, and us to be in the right direction. Absolutely. So and when I don't, I'm going to take a listen, you know. Take a listen I, when you're done, man. I don't know. And then you will see don't why. Don't Dora can I listen, that's still because you're telling me. Not Dora, <laughs> let Sunshine listen. And right. you know, when you listen, you'll realize that mm -hmm. collectively it's a really good song. And, you know, everybody brought their A game. I hope we see more collabs of this nature. We see um, Nikki really, you know, coming our way mm -hmm. um, with the collabs. And we're really grateful for it. And we hope we'll see more. No, absolutely. And hopefully this is perhaps, you know, an opportunity for more females and men too in dance hall to kind of just be united on mm -hmm. a level because together we are stronger. And that's just not a cliche. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Together we're stronger for true. true and and true. we're hoping that um, seeing that these artists from the Caribbean got this mm -hmm. opportunity that they'll actually make use of the opportunity and actually leave the door open for others to come. And I think that's what Nikki also did by just collaborating with eight women as opposed to selecting one right. of the eight to be on the song. But the persons that got the opportunity want to mm -hmm. ensure that they, they don't close the door in, in terms of the relationship. leave it open. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, make sure, you know, the relationship with Nikki is above board, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and leave a great taste in our mouth so we can get more of these collabs. Mm -hmm. with, no, the, with the younger artists coming, coming forward, you know? For real. 
In other news, dancehall artist Rygin King continues to show us that despite the circumstances, he will remain resilient. The entertainer, who is now confined to a wheelchair after being shot and seriously injured in 2020, posted a video to his verified Instagram account expressing glee about his therapy session and was optimistic that he will be running around soon. Take a listen. Yes, yes, yes. I go to therapy, I know. Is it me? I go do my exercise, them. You know? Fit up myself. Is it me? Yeah, man. So, I guess I know, no. I'm getting back, I'm getting back. The one on the therapy. Is it me? Yeah, man. Make sure so I get the album to you, know. Is it me? But they are, I may see some things, and Jan know, I stay motivated. Jesus. God, look for this woman, man. Eh? Me, I'm getting back, I'm getting back. I'm, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run up again. I'm gonna run up and down again. Pretty soon. All right, yeah, man. Say everything when I run away. Just know it's me so forward. Therapy, therapy, therapy. Everything when yeah. now nah, run away. Me so forward. Next month, Rygin King's Therapy U.S. tour will see him making stops in New York, Texas, Georgia, Philadelphia, and New Jersey. The tour will kick off on November 24 and run until December 18. The entertainer is currently promoting his 11-track album Therapy that was released on September 9 via Rygin Trap Records and features songs such as Therapy, Circumstances, and Broken. So, so he's actually... I, was I therapy speaking to you? Well, no, he posted the video while on his way to get therapy. Okay, and, okay, you know, okay, okay. He was okay. in his car, you know, mm -hmm. on the outside about to go in. But just the excitement that he's exuding, you right. know, like he's optimistic he'll walk again. He's excited about therapy. He's excited to, you know, do the exercises. Right, right. And his mind is in a good place, and that's really great. We hear it because the album was like a venting. The, mm -hmm. the entire album basically was about venting, and that's what you need to do, you know, to get it out. Let it out, Just absolutely. Let it out. Mm -hmm. You know, and we are happy for him. We are happy that he's in this place right now, that he's speaking about it, being open with us, and a, a lot of people are supporting him. A lot, and 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 that that's just really good, and 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 uh, may, perhaps maybe all of this love that he's getting as well, shine is something that is encouraging for mm -hmm. him, and you know also helps push him in the right direction mm -hmm. to say that look, mm -hmm. you made the right decision, you know to be to be open and to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So big up to Ray again. And in other news. Entertainer Devin the Doctor is urging the government to take the hit for the people who lost their homes following a demolition exercise. On Instagram, Devin the Doctor, in the comments section of a post shared by ZJ Sparks that showed the Prime Minister with the people affected, wrote, quote, what the government should do as a true leader is to take the hit for the people. End quote. He continued, quote, let the people show the receipts they got for, for the land they said that they, they, that they purchased and the cost of the house they started. Devin further stated, when the people do that, deduct the money from the price of the houses and call it a down payment. End quote. Prime Minister Andrew Holness in a post shared to his verified account said, Quote, I'm speaking to the residents of Bernard Lodge Development Area. I hear their concerns even as we recognize that in pursuit of home ownership, we must follow the law. End quote. This comes following a demolition exercise in a so-called capture land next to Clifton Community in Bernard Lodge, St. Catherine. It's reported that many of the unsuspecting residents were sold lots by criminals pretending to be the landowners. The residents then spent thousands of dollars to build their homes. Ah, oh boy. Tough, tough, it tough situation. So cut and dry, no? It's not so cut and dry like the suits are making it out to making mm -hmm. you all to believe you hear me tell you somebody is going to be making a whole lot of money and that's what no, they all absolutely. boys go to you know um when i when i was looking at the story and listening to some of the persons who were commenting i heard um like i think it was a mayor for spanish town he was commenting to say that none of these structures got building permits 
are the necessary documents weren't in place for these people to build. But then I was thinking to myself that we recently had elections. It was last year now that we had elections. And I'm sure persons from these areas voted. It means that they have them on the register <laughs> to vote. It means a uh, politician know that they are there and go yeah. canvass them votes from them. Yeah. So mm -hmm. why didn't they advocate for legalize the thing or tell the people them say, listen, where you live, you can't stay there or something from mm -hmm. before it had to get to this. Remember, you know, the farmlands are, that are there, you know, they have moved the farmers, you know. Yeah. You understand? We it's farmland, you know, we, and I build yeah. them or I build on it, you know. We don't advocate for people for just go, and, 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 as and what squat. them call it, squatting. Uh, uh -huh. But then, mm -hmm. the, the, the situation that we have here in Jamaica is one where people just don't have land or places to build. And that has been something from pre-colonial days. Mm -hmm. because of the effects of slavery trickled down to what it is now today and the cost of property and land is such that the ordinary person can't afford earning it earning a minimum wage can't afford mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. so when people go on government land and as it is there um really the government could have take a different direction they're not mm -hmm. going to take a yeah, different moving. direction, Shane, when, and, when and they're about to get some money in them yeah, pockets. That's like a whole well, well, brick well, pump brick in them pockets. And that's the reality. Had, so we had that um, whole thing blow up recently when we heard that these lands, which were mm -hmm. supposed to be for agricultural purposes, were allegedly being um, touted to be used for other purposes instead. And mm -hmm. now we hear that that is not so after the uproar was made. So, you know, really these big wigs and them friends always have the advantage. And then mm -hmm. what are the small people, the poor people left to do after and, spending and, so much money? And you know? even even for the suits, Shane and Shine, to, to go amongst the people so you can get a photo up. And feel like, you know, because you're having dialogue with them means that the situation was addressed or yeah, rectified. You're not or them exactly. Still. You you are not. That, he's just gonna say, you know, you know, we care. The government care and he's gonna pause for the effect. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they're just gonna do what they wanna do. Yes. So you really don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Because we're going and to line yeah. our pockets. We'll see the same situation occurred um, just recently um, in Negril. At that place um, in Negril where they were saying that a lot of people were building up. In Little Bay, that people were building up structures illegally and they were bulldo looking to bulldoze. You know, these things happen too frequently. And government <laughs> need to do their part so that the people them now have to resort to extreme measures. Mm -hmm. because and in the, sa in the same breath, in the resort. same breath too, Shane, we mm -hmm. have to also say to the people, it's full time we wise up. Shy you made a, a, yes, a crucial yes, point yes, to say, you know, during the earlier days, they go around them, take them census, them do this, them do that. And when they stand to gain, everything is everything all is right. gravy, mm -hmm. you know. And, and everybody it, must have a house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a you big know, one so, too. So yeah. It's full time. It's full time. We the people see what's going on and take heed yeah, I, I don't i don't I, they're gonna forget about it you know yeah, man. That's they're gonna right, forget about it round about election time when they get that little stipend and the little something something and, and then and, that's and, it and, and differently i want to add as well too you know mm -hmm. that in in dealing with property whenever you're buying property um a lot of people think that the lawyer fee is a lot of money but you know it better to spend that little money than, than stand to lose everything. Stand mm -hmm. to lose everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. Go mm -hmm. the lawyer route. Mm -hmm. Because then you have um, the law for fall back on. Mm -hmm. And Protect then if yourself. you know that, Protect you know, yourself. if you know, yes. so you capture a piece of land or a squat and piece of land, you can't make it into a permanent structure and then be comfortable about no, it. You understand? No, mm -hmm. yeah, better you stay there and, and build up yourself then. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, Save yeah. your money, build up yourself yeah, and yeah, then move yeah. on from make that. Make your exit. Yeah. You know? yes, right. Yes, man. Yes, man. All right. I think we, we covered that so well. We should, we des we're deserving of a break. No, Dora? <laughs> we, we are? I think we are. All right. <laughs> 
The time on IVFM is 4.50. And it is now time for TGIF Top Gossip in 5. So Dora, Shane, you are about to get married and at your rehearsal dinner, one of your guests got so drunk they revealed that your partner's body count includes some members of the bridal party. TGIF, you walking down the aisle? Still? Your, your body count now nothing to do with me. Alright. That's all. Even if it include members of your bridal party? No, sir. That was then, you know, that the energy they gone. Yes. Different story, you know. You know, we move we're not we're not, you know, staying in the past, we're moving forward. You okay, know what I'm Samson. And and it's and it's and it's none of my business. Are you so well strong? You're not continue. Well, <laughs> me no, I mean, me no, me no know if me can't because you see, it it is like it is such a serious commitment. In that moment, I'm going to feel slightly betrayed. To be honest, I'm sure. not sure. But next I say, I went I'll six months ago, ten months. I mean, make it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Once what, we're if, good. what if it even turns out to be your um? <laughs> Made yeah, of you're, honor. Made, you're made of honor, yeah. That not have nothing to do with me. You're a good man. So make it, Shane, look here. Make me flip it for you, you know. The, the best no, then, man. Then I may say, I'll when she have 10 man, I may make 11. <laughs> and yes. I'm best man. Yes, man. My if that's your soul, me, tonight, that you know, there's nothing yeah. you can do about it, you yeah. know. You can't, uh, even, you can't even stay away if you want to yeah. stay away. My thing is, you see, once we reach to that point of commitment, mm-hmm. and we are decided to so move on and I do a thing together, yeah, man. We're good, you know. You see, at that point, you should mm-hmm. have noticed all, all of the commitments we did have before. That would have did put to rest. Right. Can't move. We're we m- m- good. Li- m- good yeah, man, at the so moment, tell we're Dora we're to not, let go my dress. We're not living at the past. <laughs> <laughs> we're not living at the past. Look here, man, say, leg on my dress. Leg on my dress. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but, but sometimes, you know, the, 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 the um, Less you know, hey, yeah, the better. Life, you know, life can be simple, you know, man. But mm-hmm. you know, as people, we tend to complicate things. Life okay, can be simple, e- man. To each his own, and is ul- bliss. Ul- ultimately, <laughs> ultimately, Shane, if you can manage a thing, go on through. Yeah, man. Yeah. Something like how you move, Kishima. <laughs> Dora, let go my dress. <laughs> let go my dress. <laughs> Remember, say, so, you know, if you love the person, you can't just, it's not a switch, you know, you can't just slip off that switch at that point, you know. And then you're spending up how much money already. Might as well, you found your day. You yeah, mean, the, it's the rest of your life. It's <laughs> one day, but it's the rest of your life you're looking at. Yeah, but you don't didn't make the decision. What one more have to do with it? Two, three, ten more. What that have to do with anything? Two words. <laughs> ja, ja. <laughs> On the international scene, Beyonce is calling out music duo Right Said Fred for accusing her of sampling their biggest hit without permission. According to Beyonce, their claims are BS because the group was paid handsomely for the song. During an interview with The Sun, the Right Said Fred ripped Beyonce as arrogant for allegedly sampling their hits I Am Too Sexy on her new song Alien Superstar without asking for uh, without asking or paying them now beyonce's camp is firing back stating that the accusations from right said fred are erroneous and totally false beyonce's team says not only did th- did she get permission to use the song right said fred spoke publicly of their gratitude for being on her renaissance album and they were paid a substantial portion According to TMZ, Beyonce asked Right Said Fred's publisher for permission to sample the song composition on May 11, with the publisher approving the use on June 15, prompting an August payment to RSF. So, so that means up, uh, up, Right Said up. Fred didn't get the money then. Somebody else got the money. Well, no, this is how it is looking, but um, on her side, it would seem like she have went the through email, the proper channel. Right, she has the email and trail and everything. And, and she has her receipts. Right, so so, so somebody else got money. As somebody. usual, I, 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 it happens in the business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the money doesn't fall in the right person's uh, hand, you know. 
Sam, I forgot to check somebody else, his team. And eventually they'll get around to it. Right. This day in music, 1955, Donald Tabby Diamond Shaw, lead singer of the Mighty Diamonds, was born. And celebs celebrating their birthday today are R&B singer Tony Braxton and judge of American Idol, Britain's Got Talent, and The X Factor, Simon Cowell. Happy birthday if it's a special day. Any birthdays, Shine and Shane, and I see Shine searching. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, are, see me. I a search I, face that you know, no, no one yourself. <laughs> no, but I was a smiling this world smile day, you know, just smiling. So I somebody that. was smiling at me and I smiled back, you know. <laughs> okay. Right. Coll- collision I get them bright smiling. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so nothing shine? Why would you say nothing? Shane, you oh, know you have to go oh, first. I, I we will go. R- you can't wait for her, Shane. Shane, we'll go right into right, cash well, pots. Actually, I don't have any birthdays for today, but tomorrow, wow. tomorrow, my friend Janice, um, aka Jai Sweets, she teaches at Marcos Garvey Technical. Yeah, man, it's her birthday tomorrow. Yeah, man. So. All happy right, happy birthday, early birthday. Tomorrow, yeah. Any yeah. day now, Shine? What do you all say? Tap, tap, it, it's tap. Winston Hibbert's uh, 58th birthday, a.k.a. Sir Wins, from Fraserwood Highgate in St. Mary, coming from his wifey, wifey <laughs> Lorna, and the mother Arlene Simpson, a.k.a. Miss Velma, his brothers. And, you know, big up yourself, Sir Wins. All um, right, Mr. happy Winston, birthday. <laughs> yeah, so all happy right. Birthday. One <laughs> got saved. It's a good one too. Well, that's the full hundred in music news for today, Friday, October seven. Music news was brought to you by Sunshine Snacks, cheesies, just so good. Remember to check out rbfm.net slash ebuzz for more music news details. You can also check out live at five forty-five for entertainment spotlights. I'm Kishima Francis. Big up to Shane Clark, DJ Sunshine. Take it away. Big up to DJ Collision. I like new music, news talk, updates with artist drops, listener drops.